Hello, in this video we're looking at dashboards. Dashboards are a way for you to track everything in your project and in your workspace and this helps in visualizing the data and you can navigate to your dashboards by clicking on the dashboards tab here and doing so will open up a page where you can view the dashboards that you've already created or you can create a new dashboard and you can also search for dashboards and you can add filters as well by filtering with the visibility and with the author. If you'd like to view your dashboard, go ahead and hit the click on the dashboard that you'd like to view. And you also have the option to favorite a dashboard. And you can also sort your dashboard by title, owner, project, and visibility as well. And you can also make changes to your dashboards by clicking on the three dots icon here and hitting the edit or the delete options hitting the edit opens up the edit menu where you can change the title the description the visibility and the projects that the dashboard is applied to and once you click on the dashboard title it opens up the dashboard where you can view the different widgets that you've created and this is an overview of what the dashboards look like and in the next section we look at how to create a widget share your dashboards and also other settings with regard to the dashboard. If you'd like to add a new widget to your dashboard, all you need to do is hit the add widget button here. And this opens up a menu where you can view the different widgets available. We have a total of 23 widgets available at the moment and they are classified into two. One is by their entity and by the type. In Entity, we have different widgets for test cases, test runs, test results, defects, requirements, and custom fields. And by type, we have single value, we have timed value, we have distribution charts, and we have time series. Let's explore some of the widgets available to us. If you'd like to have a widget for test cases, go ahead and hit the test cases option here under by Entity and you will see that there are quite a few single value widgets and you also have a couple of time series widgets and one timed value and one distribution chart that's available for you. If you'd like to know the test cases count in a time series format you just need to hit the add widget button here and as you can see the widget is now created and by default the widget shows you the details for the projects that you've selected on a daily basis you can change this to a weekly or a monthly basis and you can also determine if you'd like to see the total or not and if you'd like to you can also extend the range and to do so go ahead and hit the settings icon for the widget which opens up another settings window and over here you can change the period for example right now it's set to the last 30 days and if I'd like to view the changes in the last 180 days, all I'd have to do is hit that and click update. And as you can see, the widget is now updated and hovering over each month also shows the count of the changes that have taken place for your test cases. As you can see in September, there have been 16 test cases and in October 17 and 18 in November and 18 in December as well. So doing so you can view the different changes over the time period and you can also choose which project you'd like the widget to display for example you will see that i have two projects selected and i can deselect one and the widget would automatically update to show the changes in the test case count for that project or i can just have both my projects enabled and the widget would update to reflect that as well. Let's take a look at creating a widget for test runs. Go ahead and hit the add widget button here and click on test runs under by entity. And you, we have four different options, active test runs count, which is a single value widget, test runs average time, which is a time series, test runs pass rate, which is a time series as well, and test runs events, which is a timed value widget. To know more about these widgets, you can read the information here. And let's say, for example, if you'd like to know the test run pass rate, 
over a period of time go ahead and hit the add widget button here and as you can see the widget is created now by default it shows you the daily values you can make changes to it to display weekly or monthly and the widget updates accordingly and you also have the option to customize the widget once again go ahead and hit the gear icon and you can make changes to the title the dimension the period and the projects themselves the values to display can change as well and if you'd like to know something apart from test runs you can go ahead and make changes to that and once you've made the necessary changes go ahead and hit update and the widget is updated as such let's explore a different widget and to do so hit the add widget button again and navigate to test runs and we have a test runs events widget and to go ahead and add this hit the add widget button and as you can see the widget is created now to know what the events that are being displayed here go ahead and hit the gear icon and as you can see the data to display says that we are viewing the test runs created and you can change this to test runs completed or test runs aborted to know the number of events for each of these different entities and you can also update the period if you like you can see the event changes for a day a week two weeks a month or 180 days and once you selected the necessary details go ahead and hit update as you can see I have zero test runs aborted and to make this a bit clear to myself I can go ahead and update the title to abort it and just save that or if I'd like to maybe view a different aspect how many test runs I've completed I can select that make a change to the title and hit update and the widget will then update to the number of test runs that I've completed for my projects in the last 180 days another widget that we have available is for test results and if you click on that you will see that we have two different widgets available test result events which is a time series and test results events which is a timed value widget if you'd like to know the time series widget go ahead and hit the add widget button here and as you can see the widget has been created you can reposition this to a different area of the dashboard and by default it shows the different events on a daily basis and if hovering over the graph gives you a key to understand what the different colors of the graph lines indicate and as you can see red is for field and green is for past and yellow is blocked and so on and hitting the gear icon allows you to make changes to the title the values to display dimensions period and the projects similar to the other widgets that we've seen and once you've made the changes hit update and it updates as such and you can also make changes to view it by monthly or weekly just to know the different changes that have been taking place over the period of time of your choosing let's now take a look at the widgets available for defects we have two widgets for open defects one's a single value and one is a time series and we also have defects events which is a timed value widget and let's explore a few of these and if you'd like to know the open defects over a select period of time you can do so by viewing the time series widget and to add the widget just hit the add widget button and as you can see here the widget has been added and similar to the other time series widgets it starts at a defaulted view of daily and we can change that to weekly or monthly and you can also select the projects and to make changes to the widget hit the gear icon you can update the title you can make changes to the values to display you can update the dimension here as well and change the period to 180 days or this month, last month or even custom range and you can select the projects again and then hit update once you've made the changes and as you can see you have 
the update for the defects over the period of time that you can view here you can move the widget you can resize the widget as well if you'd like to add another widget pertaining to defects you can do so by going back to the add widget page and hitting the defects option and you can choose between the single value open defects widget or the defects events widget and whichever one you require go ahead and hit add, def add the widget and as you can see the widget has been added and similar to the other widgets you can choose the project and the time range and you can also hit the gear icon to determine which data you'd like to display uh, when it comes to defects we have defects created defects updated and defects deleted you can repurpose this widget to the other entities as well and if you'd like to make changes to this um, period you can make changes and you can hit update and this will then update the defect events pertaining to the defects updated and if you'd like to change it to defects deleted you can do so and hit update and once again you'll see that the number changes the moment you save your updates and this is it so far for defects The next entity that we're exploring would be requirements and to do so go ahead and click the requirements option here and you can just add the requirements count widget and once you see that the widget has been created you can select the projects that you would like to display and you can also hit the gear icon make changes to the title the value to display and you can benchmark it to the times available and you can hit update and the requirements count will also be updated and reflected to you based on the number of requirements that you've created the final entity that we're exploring would be the custom fields widget and to add a custom fields widget hit click on custom fields here and click add widget and once you've done so you will see that the widget has been created here and hitting on the gear icon allows you to select the property which is the custom field itself based on the fields that you've created for each project and once you have selected the custom field that you require go ahead and click on it and then you can also choose the representation it can either be a bar chart or a pie chart and by default you will see a pie chart and once you make changes and hit update the cut the widget will update as well and you can then go back to it and change it to a pie chart make changes to a different property as well or choose a different project and hit update and immediately you would see that the widget is also updated you can have as many of these widgets as you require for as many custom fields that you have and the widget would update accordingly.